Hi there, it's Jennifer, Minds and Motion Coordinator with the Alzheimer Society of Waterloo Wellington, and I'm back. I got another fun activity for you. You've heard of Name That Tune? Well, we got Name That Cake, okay? <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to read out uh, a little description, and I want you to write down what type of cake uh, would match that description. Um, not all of them are going to be edible, I'll warn you about that. There are 20 in total. Uh, to be honest, I got kind of caught up in this one and I added a few of my own at the end. So bear with me and my sense of humor. Okay, so we've got 20 questions and you're going to write down what type of cake uh, matches that description. Okay, I'm going to put my glasses on and I'm going to start to read them out. So here we go. Number one, uh, 20 of them in total. What kind of cake do you feed your rabbit? What kind of cake do you feed your rabbit? Now, some of these might be easy for some of us, uh, but maybe not so easy for others. The answer to this one, think about what rabbits like to eat. Rabbits like carrots, right? So carrot cake is the answer to that one. Does that make sense? So you get where we're coming from here. Number two, what kind of cake do you eat annually? What kind of cake do you eat annually? Right? Think about that would be you can actually look at my little sign here, right? We've got some candles and the answer would be a birthday cake. Hopefully you got that one. Number three, they do get a little bit more difficult, so <laughs> bear with me. Uh, what kind of cake does a mouse like best? What kind of cake does a mouse like best? This happens to be my favorite type of cake and I actually make a really good version of this. So the type of cake I'm referring to would be a cheesecake, right? Mice are known for liking cheese. Um, the next one's a little corny too. What kind of cake does a monkey like? What kind of cake does a monkey like? Answer is banana cake. All right. Uh, what kind of cake do you get in heaven? So this might be one for bakers. This is a very uh, light, fluffy kind of cake. What kind of cake do you get in heaven? That would be an camera, camera guy. Angel food, Angel food cake, yes, good with strawberries and whipped cream. Uh, what kind of cake is a big flop? What kind of cake is a big flop? Not literally, but um, I'm sure we can all relate to having a cake that flopped, but that's not the one I'm talking about here. What would you classify as a cake that's a big flop? That would be an upside down cake, right? So you've got your fruit or whatever at the bottom of your cake and then when you tip it upside down or tip it the other way around, then you've got the fruit at the top. That's your upside down cake. Um, here's a cute one. What kind of cake do you have for breakfast? What kind of cake do you have for breakfast? The answer is a pancake. Hopefully you got that one. What kind of cake goes well on a saucer? What kind of cake goes well on a saucer? So think about a saucer. What goes with a saucer? A cup. So the answer is cupcake. What kind of cake goes well in a saucer? A cupcake. Um, what is the heaviest cake? What is the heaviest cake? What did you say, cameraman, when we were practicing? I can't remember. Uranium, uranium cake. Yeah, that's the old, the old uranium cake. Well, no, that's <laughs> not the right answer. Pound cake, pound cake. Lots of butter in pound cake. Uh, what kind of cake goes, oops, sorry, I'm reading one already. Number 10. Number 10, what kind of cake is found on the ocean floor? What kind of cake is found on the ocean floor? Now this one, I don't know, didn't make sense to me. Uh, cameraman? Detritus. No, a detritus cake, that's oh, not. <laughs> sponge cake, is there sponge on the ocean floor? Trust the question. Okay, there you go, sponge cake. So I guess, I, I don't know, I don't know how that works, but that's the answer, sponge cake. Uh, what kind of cake is the opposite of the angel food cake? So you're thinking about angels in heaven, and yes, <laughs> what's the answer to that? So the opposite of an angel food cake, and the cameraman's doing one of these. It's, yeah, <laughs> devil's food cake, nicely done. Okay, devil's food cake. Uh, what kind of cake should be eaten in bed? If there was ever a cake to eat in bed, what cake would that be? I gotta watch how I say this one. He's nodding. <laughs> the kind of cake you would eat in bed is a sheet cake. What? S-H-E-E-T, 
Get it? Sheet cake. You would eat sheet cake in bed.、Oh. Uh, little kids can make this cake. Any idea? Little kids can make this cake. I'm going to give you a hint. What is this? Patty cake, right? There's one that's not really a cake you'd eat, but there's one of those silly ones. I didn't make that one up, that was part of the list.、Uh, what kind of cake do you order at a seafood restaurant? Actually, cameraman, you said lobster cake, but that was wrong.、Uh, crab cake, maybe lobster cake. There's probably such a thing. The answer is crab cake. What, oh, this is a good one. What kind of cake? Do you find at a fabric store? For anybody who used to sew or still sews, we don't have a lot of fabric stores anymore, but what kind of cake would you find at a fabric store? Think about a type of fabric and a name of a cake that has that in it. The answer is a red velvet cake, and there is such a thing. It's got,、um, I think it's got. Beets in the cake that make it a really dark red, but there is such a thing as a red velvet cake. It's quite delicious. All right, the rest of them I made up. Are you ready? There's four more. Actually, no, there's five more that I made up. What kind of cake would you put in your hair? <laughs> This is silly. What kind of cake would you put in your hair? Thinking? Think a little harder.、Uh, you would put mousse cake in your hair. Moose cake. Now, cameraman thought that was kind of dumb, but apparently, moose is passe. But anyway, you know what moose is. It gives your hair that kind of funky style. So, you would put moose cake in your hair.、Uh, 17. What kind of cake would you wash your mouth out with? So, think back maybe when you were a kid. I remember、um, my mom threatening to wash my mouth out with this because I said a bad word. So, what kind of cake would you use?、Uh, you would use a cake of soap, right? Did anybody, did you ever threaten your kids to wash their mouths out with soap? I don't think we do that anymore, but anyway, you'll probably know what I'm talking about. Number 18. What kind of cake makes the most beautiful party dress? So, think about that one. What kind of cake? Think about the fabric. And a party dress would probably be made out of, here's another fabric one, chiffon, a chiffon cake. I thought that was kind of clever. I made that one up.、Uh, <laughs> number 19, we're almost there. Two more, bear with me. What kind of cake is not very tall? What kind of cake is not very tall? Cameraman? Shortcake, there you go. And finally, this is the answer to this is a phrase. What kind of cake is so easy? And I don't mean easy to make, but what kind of cake is just easy peasy? Think about it, it's a phrase. Actually, not a phrase, but a word that we use. We would say it's a cakewalk. Did you get it? <laughs> But I'm bummed. All right, thanks for playing. See you soon.